Welcome to the Liberty Flames Men's Hockey Postgame Press Conference. I'm Lauren Creekmore. Joining us to discuss the game this evening are Jackson Kuhn, Tyson Street, Rick Turner, and Coach Handy. Coach Handy will begin with his thoughts on this evening's game, and then we will allow some questions from the audience. Thank you. Coach? Okay, thanks, Lauren. Uh, we, um, we're happy with the outcome tonight, obviously, uh, being able to put 12 goals uh, up tonight and uh, only giving up one. Uh, we were happy with uh, the way that we were able to limit uh, the shots against tonight. That was a, a key for us as well. Overall, we felt like we were uh, very disciplined tonight. I think that was one of the uh, that was one of the four keys we had for tonight's game, and that was something that we uh, uh, took a stride forward uh, tonight in tonight's game. Uh, overall, uh, you know, we were able to spread the scoring out uh, from for all four lines, which is a, which is a positive sign as well. Yeah, it's going to be uh, key for us us tomorrow too. You know, we want to try and look uh, uh, each day as it comes by and not look too far ahead. Uh, uh, again, the key that we feel is that we have four lines that are very evenly balanced this year, and the the skill level is very uh, very close on, on all four lines. So it allows us to be able to balance the scoring out, and, and that's key for us definitely moving forward. Well, I think it's, uh, you know, one, one of the keys is we're shooting the puck. And, uh, you know, the, obviously the more shots you have, the more goals are going to go in. So I, I, that's been that's been a big key for us. I, I think some of the other uh, keys for us uh, have been shot selection this year. I think we're doing a better job of uh, of, uh, of putting the puck on the net, especially the first shot if, if we don't have a uh, – you know, a uh, a good angle, just putting on the pads and having the guys going with their stick down, going harder than that, and, and getting the rebound. So those are, are two things that we've uh, improved on for sure uh, last year, this year. Well, it's been great. Uh, definitely uh, super excited about it. Uh, lucky for me, um, I was announced uh, before the summer, so I had a lot of time to uh, prepare. Uh, and not just physically, uh, mentally as well. Um, I know that uh, you know most people think that I'm out there to score goals, but uh, you know my leadership role really comes in just working hard and and uh, you know just trying to lead by example, um, especially just uh, trying to be more like Christ each day. Uh, so uh, in that sense, uh, getting the summer to just work on that uh, and make sure that I came in focused and ready to go uh, has definitely made it a uh, successful first couple of games for me and I look forward to what I can do, uh, not just the rest of this year, uh, but next year as well, uh, hopefully leading our team to a national championship. Yeah, I work out uh, every once in a while uh, with Rick Turner and guys like uh, Ty Street, and uh, we're just you know we're just getting big, uh, just getting excited about uh, we're laying the body. Uh, I just love being a force out there. Uh, I have three goals as a Liberty Flame, uh, just one for each year, and uh, you know I, I I know that, so I just try to uh, get the body going out there, and uh, just like Don Cherry always says, uh, hits as good as a goal. So. Uh, Dave Semenina, coach, D coach Dave Semenina. Uh, you know, just comes to me uh, whenever uh, he thinks I may be getting a little too hot, and uh, he just uh, speaks truth into my ears, uh, calms me down, and allows me to get back out there each shift and just be focused. Um, and I think the leadership role also is a, is a play in that, uh, just being smarter, uh, more mature. And, uh, you know, uh, it's it's been nice over the first two years uh, being mentored by the coaches. Uh, Kirk Handy, uh, Jeff Becker, and uh, you know, give credit to Jeff Lowe's too, who uh, they knew that that's what it was going to take. Uh, the best teams in this league, uh, they don't deal with the the crap after the whistle. They just know how to skate away, and I uh, credit a lot of that to uh, to the coaches. Rick, last year against Morris, you had a half check each night. Are you planning on doing that again tomorrow? <laughs> uh, God, God willing, I guess you can say that. Uh, it helps to have two linemates who get you the puck. So as long as uh, Kerr and Garcia are still doing that, you know, who knows? But maybe maybe Kerr and Garcia will get a hat trick tomorrow. Nice, nice like tonight. Make sure 
makes it easier for the team when you're putting goals in so frequently in the back of the net. But let's talk about, you know, when when players like RC are picking up slack like last weekend, does that kind of push you a little more and kind of help get you started on nights when you're not finding the back of the net so easily? Uh, yeah, it definitely, it definitely helps because if you have more than one guy on, on a line who can put the puck in the net, then, you know, if you're struggling a night, just feed, you know, feed him, you know. Like, I went up to him, I think it was the last game last weekend, and told him, you know, I was fighting it. So I'm feeding him the puck, and he put a couple on the back of the net for us, so it helped out. Ben, uh, what we like to say in the broadcast, dangerous flame on the ice every time. Uh, and next weekend, uh, they're going to, Um, just not get involved in the crap. Just uh, keep my head level. You know, obviously sometimes it's hard, but just got to know that guys on the team will pick up the slack. And you know, if I'm not scoring, if the guys are keying on me, I know that you know our other lines will score, or put pucks in the net, and you know do the battling for us. So. Jason, uh, you got the first goal of the game so quickly. How did that feel in the movement? Felt really good. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Really, I just wanted to shoot more this game. Um, coach has been telling me to get more shots on end instead of passing, which I like to pass all the time. So my first uh, thought was just just throw it on net, and it worked out. Street, being a freshman on the team, how have you prepared yourself mentally and physically for this season? Um, I just uh, I like to think that. <laughs> I just like I honestly it's all mental for me um, I show up every game uh, we have lots of time to get ready and I just think I got to do my role on the ice as a freshman um, whatever coach wants me to do I'll go out and I'll do it and right now it's just working hard winning the face-offs and being good defensively. Kerr and Blair mentioned that you guys have been really getting in with them kind of a good spirit and atmosphere do you feel like you're getting comfortable I mean you're seven games in now kind of is it enjoyable to play now you know I'm sure at the beginning it was a little you know you were fighting for your spots fighting for things but now it's, it's like okay I'm playing I'm having fun yeah whenever you go on the ice it's all about having fun um I guess the first couple games I was getting a little upset just because I didn't put the puck in the net but um just a good week of practice and calming down just working on uh, little things like my footwork and um shooting more uh, I just came out this weekend and it helped out and had fun again Well, I think, you know, our thought process since uh, day one's come ready to play every game. Uh, you know, with the national championships being a one game win, win or lose, uh, you know, you win, you move on, you lose, you go home. So uh, we want to play with that type of desperation every night at the start of every game and work hard uh, every night to uh, become a, a better team. And so that's, our, that's been our focus since game one, and it'll be our focus the whole way through this year. Well, we're, we're expecting a better effort. I mean, I think Robert Morris, the first game of the season, I think one of the things is you're trying to iron a lot of things out. Now, being that it's our seventh game, we've been able to iron a lot of things out over the last uh, uh, three, four weeks uh, because we've had game tape and we're able to go over things with the guys. So uh, we definitely expect a better effort tomorrow night. This is for whoever wants to take it, but we're coming up to showcase soon. What, uh, so far you're, you're kind of you're kind of unsure because you know it's, it's been I'm not saying easy but the road you've had so far hasn't been extremely difficult but do you feel like you, you're getting prepared for the showcase coming up yeah I'll grab that one uh, <clears throat> yeah you know it's uh it's just you know, I, I think it's, it's tough to kind of get a feel for this unless you're in the dressing room, but uh, we prepare, doesn't matter who we're playing, like we're playing number one, each minute, uh, each second that we're on the ice, uh, we're getting better. And I think that, um, I think you can see that if, if you've been keeping up with the games and just watching, um, we are constantly striving forward. It doesn't matter who we're playing. Uh, yeah, tonight we had a great quick start, but, uh, you know, we decided to, to 
continue to refine and not just sit back. Um, and I think that's the difference between, uh, you know, just being an average team and being a great team. And I think that you're going to see at uh, the showcase uh, that it doesn't matter who we're playing, but we're going to be ready to go and the boys are going to be ready. And uh, when you got a team this skilled, uh, when you get to practice against those guys uh, day in and day out, uh, you continually get better just by being at practice and working against some of the best guys in the league. I guess I'll take this one. Um, just, uh, you know, come out with the same um, intensity and just focus. You know, I mean, they're not just going to roll over for us and let us score nine on them in the first period again. So just uh, coming out and battling all, all game. Uh, you know, big things just going to be getting uh, Ty Street the puck. Oh. Yeah, we'll just go out hard tomorrow, and hopefully we can get over 10 goals again. Feels good. That concludes this evening's Flames Hockey postgame press conference. Make sure to tune in tomorrow night when your men's D1 team takes on Robert Morris University at 7 o'clock. For more information on Liberty University Club Sports, visit us at liberty.edu forward slash club sports or follow us on Twitter at liberty underscore club sports. My name is Lauren Creekmore. Thanks for watching.